hello guys hope you are doing well so today our topic is static url filtering so i'll explain you uh, how we can do it before that i'll just basically configure the fortigate firewall okay so what do you mean by static url filtering static url filtering means you can you know uh, in if you have watched my earlier videos uh, there we have done url filtering for face free facebook for uh, social media but what happens in static url filtering you can specifically define a static url okay the sub subdomains of that url so this is the first type of static url filtering which is known as simple static url filtering so i will show you you can go into the security profiles you need to go into the web filter and we'll create one so i will give name as rule 1 okay and if you see here is an option static url filter so you have to enable it so here you have to define the url So, for example, I'll uh, say Fortinet. Okay. So, uh, I'll explain you like these are the types. Okay. First one is the simple. Second one is the regular expression, and third one is the wild card. So today we are going to do simple, and the these are the actions. First is the exempt, block, allow, and monitor. so what do you mean by exempt exempt means if you are if you are defining any the uh, like uh, this type of url filtering for this fortinet.com it will exclude the other filtering okay for uh, for the for this specific url okay and second one is the block block is obviously the name itself says says like you have to block this url allow means you have to just allow it and monitor means you have to give a warning to the user that you are using uh, like uh, sometimes you guys know you can uh, see uh, uh, yeah uh, like a pop up that proceed towards this url this content is unsafe so that kind of uh, uh, pop up you will get on your chrome or web browser so we are going to just block it so what happens in simple url filtering i will show you uh, while testing okay and you have to enable it or disable it so we have to enable it okay so i will go into the policies and objects and i will create a firewall policy now we have to go into the web filter and just select the rule one which we have created on all sessions okay before that what i'll do uh like uh, if you if you guys want to test we can just you know uh, like uh, disable this policy we will uh, after that we will enable it okay so now i am in the chrome i will just type fortinet right now we have not applied it so it will work see now what i'll do i'll just uh, try to access the uh, like uh, i'll just try to uh, enable the firewall like the web filter policy over here and after once we apply the web filter policy the uh, like the for uh, that that url will be blocked and we can see the logs as well okay so now i will go into the rule one i just edit it and just select the rule one now 
now you can see yeah. it will uh, you have to just clear the cache after that it will work If you guys want to analyze the logs, you can just go into the log and report and go into the web filter. You guys can see. See, Facebook is uh, like uh, Fortinet is getting blocked. Okay, it's interesting. Actually, it should not work, but it is working. We are getting logs over here. What I'll do, I'll just try via uh, Mozilla Firefox. In lab scenarios, this this type of uh, these types of errors are common, so you don't need to worry. see it's not working because it is getting blocked see even if I try to access any other URL like uh, fortinet.com slash support it will also not work Now we'll uh, try via the Chrome whether it's working or not. So this uh, logs will also come for Fortinet. See, it's not allowing. So that's how it works. So as I told you, I will just uh, you know explain you like what is exactly simple static URL filtering. So what happens in simple static URL filtering? The characters which you are defining after the fortinet.com, okay, that are also getting blocked. If you guys can see, fortinet.com slash support. But what if if we are typing support dot fortinet.com, okay? So it will work. So that is the you know any uniqueness of the static URL filtering. If I type over here, see, Fortinet support dot Fortinet is working but the characters after the url fortinet.com slash support that are getting blocked so this is how static url filtering works so the characters which you are defining after the blocks or the uh, fortinet.com like slash support that are getting blocked but if you are defining something before fortinet.com that is not getting blocked okay so this is the you know this is how simple static url filtering works i'll again explain you the characters before fortinet.com okay that will work support for dot fortinet.com but the characters after fortinet.com slash support that are also going to get blocked okay so if i try uh, say for example fortinet.com slash contact we are getting a uh, url like uh, like it's not url we are getting a pop up so sometimes like actually this pop up should also be shown over here okay that it's blocked but sometimes it it doesn't shows okay the page you have requested that has been blocked because this url is banned 
okay so the characters after fordinet.com are banned and the characters before you define via the actual URL that are not banned see it's not only in the case of fordinet.com we have just defined fordinet.com over here that's all so that's all regarding this simple static URL filtering I hope you guys would have liked this video and like and guys please do like share subscribe uh, to my channel I want maximum support from you guys. Thank you so much.